Residency is changing, and here's what you need to know about it. Recently, the Accreditation Council on Graduate Medical Education announced that all residency programs in the U.S. will come together under one umbrella accreditation system, meaning all allopathic and osteopathic students are now eligible to apply to any accredited program in the U.S. This is a huge departure from the two separate systems we had in the past, and naturally, as students or as program directors, we have questions for what this means for us. So we sat down with the ACGME to try to get a clear picture of the decision. Today, we're talking to Dr. John Potts, Vice President of Surgical Accreditation at the ACGME. Dr. Potts had a leading role in implementing the new system. Let's find out what this new system is all about. Thank you so much for joining us in Doc Thoughts, Dr. Potts. My pleasure. What is meant by the single GME accreditation system? Single accreditation system, uh, by that we mean that all medical school graduates would enter one system of accreditation for their residency programs. Historically, we've had accreditation, of course, by the ACGME, but also by the American Osteopathic Association. Uh, those two are going to come together so that there'll be one accreditation system for all those residency programs. Why was this decision made to move towards a single GME accreditation system? The advantages of a single accreditation system are that it provides consistent evaluation and accountability for the programs. It actually enhances the opportunities for the medical school graduates. Um, it eliminates a lot of uh, duplication of effort and expense for uh, residency programs. When this effort was undertaken uh, a couple of years ago, as of that time there were about 150 programs in the country they were accredited by both AOA and ACGME. So those programs had to meet all the requirements of both accrediting organizations and pay fees to both accrediting organizations. Going forward, there'll only be one accrediting organization and so we can eliminate that duplication. And to me, one of the most important aspects of it is that it, um, is a, it's a much more transparent system for the federal government who pays for graduate medical education and most importantly for the public. How will the single GME accreditation system enhance opportunities for trainees? The ACGME actually since its inception in 1981 has allowed graduates of colleges of osteopathic medicine and allopathic graduates to enter its residency programs but has limited the entry into fellowship programs in many instances to graduates of ACGME accredited residency programs. Through this system, all graduates will be eligible for entry into ACGME accredited fellowship programs. On, on the flip side, for the allopathic residents, they will have the opportunity to, if they wish, uh, learn osteopathic principles and practices. Now looking at this from a student's perspective, what impact will this decision have on MD and DO students seeking residency slots in the coming years? Well, as I said, it, it enhances opportunities for both. Uh, particularly at the, for the DO students, it enhances the opportunities at the fellowship level. They will be eligible for all ACGME accredited fellowships. And for the allopathic uh, uh, graduates, it will also increase the number of residency slots available to them because in the past <clears throat> graduates of allopathic medical schools could not apply to uh, those programs that were accredited only by the AOA. Once those programs are accredited by ACGME, allopathic residents or graduates can apply to those programs as well. Will the SAS cause greater competitiveness for the residency slots? I think, in fact, it will, uh, if anything, it will be helpful to the students in terms of that competitiveness for residency slots. I say that because even before the SAS, both DO students and uh, allopathic graduates could apply to the ACGME programs. Those will still all be open to, to both cohorts. but. Uh, there are a number of historically AOA-only accredited programs that don't fill every year. So those will be available 
to the uh, graduating pool of students, regardless of which medical school they come from. Uh, so if anything, I think it will be uh, a benefit to the students who are graduating. Will residency programs have to change their selection process after the decision is made? I don't think there'll be any change on the part of those programs that have historically been ACGME accredited. If there's any change in the, the criteria for the residency selection process, it would be in those programs that have uh, in the past been only AOA approved uh, because now they'll have a much larger pool of graduates from whom to choose, uh, uh, which would include MD students. Of course, they won't have to they won't have to take MD students if they don't want to, but MD students would be eligible for those programs, whereas in the past they have not been. So this agreement between the ACGME, the AOA, and the AACOM was made two years ago. What has been accomplished within those two years? Well, we're really pleased with the progress that's occurred in those two years. Um, uh, our board of directors, the ACGME board of directors, now has individuals who are nominated by the AOA sitting on the board of directors. We've got individuals who are nominated by ACOM, and I, I guess we should say that ACOM stands for the American Association of Colleges of Osteopathic Medicine. Uh, there are nominees from that organization sitting on our board of directors. We have nominees from the AOA sitting on all of the uh, specialty review committees that are relevant uh, to uh, those uh, graduates from uh, uh, colleges of osteopathic medicine. We now have had uh, applications from well over 200 programs that were historically only AOA approved, applying for ACGME accreditation. And something over 50 of those have already been accredited by the various review committees of the ACGME. So the progress has really been substantial, we're very pleased with it, and we look forward to continued work with ACOM and AOA uh, as this uh, single accreditation system unfolds. We think it's gonna be a good thing for the students and a good thing for the, the public, for the patients that we have the opportunity to treat.